New encounter notes can be created for scheduled patients as well as for walk-in patients. In this video, I'll be showing how to start a new encounter for a scheduled patient. As soon as we click on Clinical Desktop, we can see all the scheduled appointments for today by default and their appointment time. You can also use the arrow keys to go forward and back a day. With the help of the calendar icon, you can jump back several months or you can select the new date of service from the list. There are various options to filter out. For example, we can filter by legal entity, by provider and also by status. We can also change the exam room and rendering provider right from here. Let's say if you want to change the waiting area to exam room 2 or 3, you can do it from here. In the same way, you can change the rendering provider. Whatever changes you're making here will automatically reflect over to the schedule. All reminders that you have set for various patients will show up in the Reminder tab. Let's say if you have to set up a reminder for a follow-up or for any labs or collection of copay, everything will automatically appear in the Reminder tab. Finally, there is also a Messaging tab, which will take you to the Inter-Office Messaging System. You can use this to pass along patient information securely with a message to other users. In that space on the extreme left, it indicates that a chart has not yet been taken for the visit. Pick the correct date of service. Click on the right patient that you need to start charting. I'm going to choose this patient and start charting. Now let's bring up the medical records for this particular patient. This opens the encounter for the respective date. Rendering provider and date of service will be automatically displayed. Select the needed encounter sheet and click begin charting. I'm going to click full exam and begin charting. All the templates are highly customizable. Notes can be saved, either pending for review, ready for exam or complete. By default, all standard notes will be saved as pending. All the incomplete charts will be either under pending, for review, or ready for exam. Detailed charting will be covered in a separate video.